All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, another junkyard visit to the barnyard. And uh, this is a different yard, different area. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <clears throat> but here is a Pontiac Sunbird LE model. 55,000 original miles. I cannot believe that. Now it has the 2.0, so that's probably why. If I had to guess, you don't see these anymore. And I don't know, I've heard bad things about them. But, I mean, the car is straight. There is no damage. Wow. Them tail lights are nice. Oh, yeah. That's a nice car. Or was. <laughs> was. I'm looking for SM parts again, and I'm looking for Cavalier parts, but this is close to an old Cavalier, and I figured maybe it had a 3.1, 2.8, you know, all the goods in it, but it don't. 55,000 original miles, there's a zero in front of that. Automatic. It's crazy. I like the little gauges, that's pretty cool. The little needles, they're tiny. Manual windows, manual locks, gray interior, gray exterior, and uh, three-speed automatic. Let's see what else I can find. I've already found a uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra, and I just spotted another one. Like I said, different yard. I've got luxuries down here. I wish they had these at the yards I go to. Sure would help. The old back. Here we go. Blue interior, it's gotta be, yeah, 1990 plus. I'm assuming probably like a 92 tail lights. Like the old wheel badge. Well, it did have a bill sheet in the back. Why does everybody rip up the back seats at every yard? I don't get that. Are they checking for fuel pump or trying to get to a, a fuel pump to drain the tank and I don't know. Ooh, this one must have sat somewhere in a field. Got a bunch of hay in it, or they used it to have their animals sit in it. 147,000 miles. Probably a 3.3. .3, or no, probably a 3,100. that out of the way. Oh, yeah, 3,300. what I just found the wheels I have been wanting forever <sighs> does it have all four that one don't like it's beat up or curbed oh it's a manual too definitely an LS sport and that's the only time you ever ever get these wheels yep LS of course mine's an LS but yeah it's got all four doesn't say it's a sport, but power windows and locks and a manual with the wheels, it's gotta be a sport. Yeah. Uh, never mind on the wheels. That one's damaged. Great. Wow, that blows. I thought I finally had me a set. <sighs> Don't go on it, man. Mmm. I think that's the only one here with these wheels, too. That wagon is sweet. True door exhaust. Like the Chevy badges. Inside that thing's nice. Oh, yeah. Here's the Oldsmobile Cutlass here, the other one. Chrysler junk. Chevy on this side. Ain't many Cavaliers in here like they said they were. 
and I've only seen like two or three S10s. Most of them ain't got what I need. There's one five speed I was gonna grab, but it's a 92, so it has a electronic speedometer. Can't use it. I already got one of those. I want another one. Jimmy. There's a few like 94 or 95 and up Eston stuff. And nothing 82 to 93. There's only like two or three of those. Uh, 4.3, 227,000 miles. Look at the interior. Oh, man. This thing is roached. Or not, uh, roach means rust, but it's not like, it's just really torn up. Disgusting. Beat up every panel and fender and there ain't nothing left except for this grill. I don't know. Take that back. Grill's busted. Ain't no good either. Another S10. Well, there wasn't much there, so uh, let's head on to another yard and see what else we can find. Well, back in another yard. This is another yard I've never been to before. They have like ground sand as their floor. It's kind of crazy. It's like being at the beach being at a junkyard. And some areas is pretty dang thick if you ain't got good boots on. But uh, grabbing some parts off of this uh, 95 to, I want to say, 98 uh, S10 Blazer, the Spider injection, the common problems. I'm grabbing some sensors and things like that, EGR valve and uh, a couple things that I need for a project that's coming that you will see very soon. But I had leather interior, all the nine. Something else uh, that's interesting is there's a couple S10s back here. And uh, this yard, you know, like most, well, this one does not have inventory, you know, where you can go online. But look at this. 1982 Chevrolet S10 carbureted v6 and a four speed but it's the crappy four speed you know the zuzu style so i will not be grabbing that um non-ac non-power steering uh no i mean it's it's pretty much bare bones uh set up looks like it's been off the road since 04 of January mm. body straight to be honest it's actually not that bad of a truck nice tailgate it's got all the beauty rings and the center caps boy if this was back at home them and beauty rings and center caps be gone everybody loves those things well steering wheel is gone well in pieces 127,000. Oh man, this has the six digit odometer. Oh, that sucks. I'd really love to have that. I don't know, you know, like I said, this is a different yard, and all these yards down here are different, so I don't know prices like I do at home of uh, what things would be. So I'd have to go walk, you know, at least two football field links way, way, way down to get back to the office to even ask them what it would be for a price. But that's that's nuts you don't see the six digit odometer um i don't understand why the 82 to like 82 to somewhere around 84 they did the six digit odometer like you should have and then after that they went to the stupid five digit and then you know 
the five digit doesn't really tell the correct miles like a six digit, six digit odometer would have and yeah, it's got all of its all of its parts i like the chrome tip but it's rusty fenders are gone i like to have that distributor as a backup they only want i think it's like uh 25 bucks for the distributor i did ask them that and uh there's another s10 that i want to get the fender emblems off of uh, we gotta go check that that's a good foot football field length that way uh this yard is huge but they don't have it organized so you don't know what's what when I mean, you got ford and nissan and chrysler with chevy and you know, like here's another chrysler like so it's not organized at all you just have to walk around i guess and figure out what's what but i want the separators right here you can't buy those anymore the little spark plug wire separators and the uh wire looms that go over them protect them from heat <clears throat> i didn't bring my tool with me i have to go back to the truck to get the uh distributor hold down tool crap i didn't think about that oh well something else is cool this the sticker around the uh keyhole i'll have to look that up online and see if uh you can still buy those i would love to get those stickers and put those on mine i don't know that's really cool to see chevy sticker around the uh keyhole bed liner and it's a long bed man i wish i was closer to home i would be snatching that bed liner i've been trying to find a long bed bed liner forever and it is very very hard to find all you always see is the short beds never the long beds here's another one apparently it's a gmc jimmy that's not right uh it's probably a sonoma gmc sonoma yeah sle same thing is what i'm working on same model sle wow the dash is not even busted are you serious there's a couple of cracks, but I mean, the middle is not even destroyed. That is just insane. Weather stripping's in good shape. I do need some weather stripping. Oh. No, take that back. It's torn right there. Mine's torn down here. Well, see if we can find another one because uh, I don't believe this has anything that I'm looking for. Yeah, this has the TBI 4.3, so nothing I can really use off of it. Oh, man. I just happened to look up. There's an S10 in the crush pile, and there's no way that I can... Yeah, there's no way. They've got this, like, wall of dirt all the way up trees and stuff on the other side man i bet that's a 2.8 if i had to guess well, i don't probably. think there's much luck at this yard it is huge i'll try to drop a picture uh real quick so you can see that how big the yard is but it's uh they don't have many s10s i've only seen three of the first gen and they have a few quite a few second gen you know like the blazer and stuff and uh all that but it doesn't have it has the later model spider injection not the older style uh that i'm looking for or many parts of the first gen s10s that i'm needing so i guess that's kind of a bust i've been here probably two hours and i can't even hardly believe that this place is huge but they pretty much keep everything that is like uh gotta be from like 95 and up they don't have many old stuff besides those s10s that i had seen everything is like you know dodge and chrysler and lexus and chevy trailblazers astro vans dodge rams and honda odysseys and ford f-150s dodge dakota you know things like that hondas all kinds of hondas they got a crap ton of hondas so if i was in the honda game uh i know where to come to get parts that's for sure but here's a second gen s10 but you know like i said nothing i can use and it's a four banger so 
I guess I'm gonna call it at that. Uh, I may try another yard, but if not, well, I guess that'll be the it for this video. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it, like I did, on this very, very hot, humid day in some beach sand. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, and uh, as always, stay tuned for more content coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. It's at the end of the video that uh, everything that I got, the EGR valve, the map sensor, and a few other things, outdoor control valve, all that stuff, 10 bucks out the door. Not bad. So I'm about to go pick up a toolbox for that S10. It's on the back of another S10, and uh, it's a Duralast brand, but it's beat up a little bit. Uh, the handle locks work. I just got to get new keys for it. So I'm going to pick that up for 25 bucks. Not bad either. So uh, yeah, I just want to throw this into the video and uh, catch you later. Thanks for watching.